Hi Gators, it's Mrs. Leamhouse, teacher librarian at Gloucester High School. And to recognize black excellence this month, I'd like to speak to you about Lawrence Hill, one of my favorite Canadian authors. Lawrence Hill is one of three children. His parents married in 1953 and the day after their wedding, they came up to Canada. Um, Daniel, his father, was studying at the University of Toronto to complete his PhD in sociology. Now, both of his parents were quite accomplished. Uh, they were both human rights activists and published authors. And Daniel was the first director of the Ontario Human Rights Commission, while Donna May pushed the government for anti-discrimination legislation in Ontario. Now, he initially had great aspirations to become an Olympic athlete and win a gold medal for Canada. He was uh, a long distance runner and uh, he realized eventually that wasn't going to work out, but he was also a very gifted student and a writer. He started writing as a teenager and so it was uh, another option that he had always considered. He completed his Bachelor of Arts in Economics at the University of Laval and then began his career as a newspaper writer in the Globe and Mail and at the Winnipeg Free Press. However, after a few years, he didn't have the heart for it anymore, and he wanted to transition into writing uh, novels and uh, nonfiction. So he quit his job in 1986, and it's quite evident from his writing, both what he chose to pursue for nonfiction and fiction, that his upbringing had a big impact on what he chose to write about. His love of running, though, did come back. Uh, the book The Illegal uh, features a protagonist who is a long-distance marathon runner. However, most people uh, in Canada and around the world know Lawrence Hill because of his work on the Book of Negroes, which was published in 2007. It's a work of fiction, but it's based on an historical document with the same name. It follows the incredible journey of Aminata Diallo from her abduction in Africa, her enslavement in the United States, and then her journey to freedom through Canada and eventually returning to Africa. It was a huge hit. It sold over 800,000 copies worldwide and 600,000 in Canada alone. Alone, which is almost unheard of for novels in Canada. It then spawned an award-winning miniseries in 2015. Uh, Mr. Hill has been recognized many times over and for various works that he's done, um, a couple of which notable ones are that the Book of Negroes went on to win the CBC's Canada Reads competition in 2009, and then he later followed up in 2016 with his book The Illegal, which is about a refugee. He's the, I don't know if he's the only, but he was definitely the first person to win that competition twice. He was also made a member of the Order of Canada in 2015, and that same year was inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame. Today, uh, Hill is still very active socially and with his writing. He's a longtime volunteer with the Canadian Crossroads International Organization. He's volunteered three times to go work overseas in Africa. He has an Aminata Fund, which supports programs for girls and women in Africa, and he supports uh, all efforts that bring refugees to Canada. He continues to write. Uh, he has been a professor at different schools, but currently works at the University of Guelph in Southern Ontario. Here's one of my favorite quotations from Mr. Hill. The very purpose of literature is to enlighten, disturb, awaken, and provoke. Literature should get us talking, even when we disagree. Literature should bring us into the same room, over coffee and conversation. It should inspire recognition of our mutual humanity together. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this introduction to Lawrence Hill, and you can always come by the Gloucester High School Library to pick up a copy of one of his books to read. Take care, Gators.